Hey, it says we're back. I'll refresh, and uh, it looks like we are. And then let's hope that it uh, that it stays that it's that it stays okay. You guys, tell me if you can still hear me, or if I'm laggy. Yeah, I can hear you there. And am I? Is it is it laggy? I know they don't see the screen. I've got to. Um, we'll put up. Uh, it's better. Okay, good. We'll see if it. Uh, we'll see if it stays better. Um, yeah, it it shows a maximum of 720p for me now. Right, so now it's better. So let you still need to fix the wallpaper. <laughs> you don't. You don't like the wallpaper. <laughs> one, one, one thing at a time, right? One thing at a time. We're getting the first word. The, 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 yeah. the, the, the sound is better. The sound is better, so that means we're winning, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess we're getting there. We're getting, we're getting there. there. Yeah. So we, we will uh we will get this thing where we're actually um where you actually guys you guys get to see something now versus just uh versus just little stuff. Um so what we do is um I'm gonna we're gonna go look at um at the wallpaper. And we we are not gonna look we are not we're gonna look at something else besides the wallpaper. I promise you, the, the wallpaper is not the first thing we're gonna look at. Um, well, let's see if we could get to if we could get to where you guys can look at something a little more a little more um, nice than the wallpaper. And uh, in in just a second, I promise you, you guys will be looking at something better than the wallpaper. Um, You know how it is. So, did you? Um, so, whenever you did the update, did you run any Galactic Wars, Zern, or did you just end up? Uh, the last update, yes. Yeah, I mean, I did with the client restart where you where like everybody died right away. Oh no, no, uh, I uh, I got a heads up about that, so I avoided getting into it. Nice. So yeah, <laughs> I would be really mad if that happened to me. I know it happened to a couple of guys in uh, in Team Skunk Omega. I know it happened to a couple of guys, kids who were, you know, who were trying to, uh, you know, who were trying to do a few things, and uh, they said yeah. it was, they said it was, uh, it was, it was pretty bad, and they weren't able to, uh, you know, they, they weren't yeah. a able to do what they wanted yeah, to for, do. So for people that had like a, like a single team or a small number of characters, that would be a huge problem. You know, there's no way you can beat it. Yeah. So I think that, uh, you know, that those. That those people that were having, um, you know, I feel sorry for those people that had that uh, that had that trouble, you know, and that weren't that weren't able to. Uh, oh were, yes, you the wallpaper. See, is, wallpaper is, is gone now, right? Yeah. Now you're yeah, on, it's now, gone. now you're gone. Now you're seeing the developer yeah. notes, right? It's working. Yeah, yeah it's I working. I was fairly confident it would it would get better here <laughs> here in just a minute. So yeah, it looks good. Yeah, looks good. so it it'll. Uh, it it'll it'll get even better in just a second. I just have to get to a different uh, a different channel um, where I can actually see uh, you know what's what's going on because I'm at this strange channel on YouTube where I can't even see what's going on. So we're gonna move over over to there and we're gonna and we're then we're gonna talk about it kind of in order. Okay. Um, and want to give a, a big shout out to Irish and Sithis, my buddies who are watching this stream right now. By the way. Nice. So the thing that we the thing that we saw first, right, mm -hmm. if, was we saw um, if you go if you go in here, the first thing we saw in the is when they first said that they did this community update, and this was this was yes. this was way back in the beginning. Um, you, you know where they kind of told us here's what's happening, here's all these notes, and then they dropped this little. Um, this little device that looked like the inside of a data card and we were all on different streams and doing different things and saying how we thought this was the coolest thing in the world and none of us knew it was happening, right? We were yeah. like we were like I expected it to be a, like a the new chromium pack or something. Yeah, we because all because it's the same shape. Exactly. Right? So we all kind of thought, oh that's neat and we all had some different um <laughs> some different uh you know some different ideas about this thing. And then we went and uh and then we got the update from yesterday, which the update, yeah. the, the the update from yesterday. 
He had the client update. Yeah, it was the, the was the was the client update, and we were all like, "Oh no, you know what's uh, what is you know what is this? Um, you know what's you, you know what's the update going to be like? You know they had some ma- and then they had some major issues with that update." And that's oh, yeah. and that's where we got all People. this. Like we pushed an update last night, and it was a new client, and there, and, and including some game data, preparing for the next major update, and there were a bunch of bugs, right? And the bug yeah, people doing millions of damage in the raid, people getting killed in uh, galactic wars instantly after of doing a battle. Yeah, it was problematic. And then they said, "Well, we're gonna give you some what? We're gonna we 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 messed up, and so we're gonna." fix it and we're going to give everybody some crystals for the technical issues and and we are there's a they're going to help people out for galactic war at least but they did not say that they were going to help people out as far as uh as far as you know what was going on with the with the uh with the other the other things that were going on like the um the people who started raids. We still don't know exactly what's going to happen with those people who started raids, do we? We, still we don't, don't. And we still don't know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. As, as they gave three, 350 crystals and like, like that's it. <laughs> yeah. And so we, so we weren't exactly sure, you know, what's going to happen with that. So we have to, we have to see, I guess, you know, what, uh, what their next, um, you know, I, uh, you know, what the next idea is, right? And how that uh, and how that works. So, um, so then they said, okay. So then, then we got back, and it was, uh, and we, and then we, and then they said, well, I guess since we kind of previewed some of this stuff, maybe we're going to need to, uh, maybe we're going to need to tell you what it is, right? And that was, uh, yeah, the- because because people on Reddit uh, data mined the new client patch and found out some uh, some interesting things so i think they felt like okay let's let's re- reveal a little bit of what's to come to keep people at, at ease you know because after the patch uh, all hell broke loose you know people were getting in a lot of trouble yeah they didn't say anything so yeah they kind of gave us something so- not much but yeah it got people excited <laughs> uh, so so yeah so then I see it now it's on the screen yes yep so then so then this is what we got right and then yes. and and to me this is the whole reason why i wanted zern on here is because zern had some amazing ideas about what this is the first the first couple of things that you saw you said that were that were pretty interesting was what about this screen what can you see about this screen that you cannot see any other way whenever you look in game right now well, but let me let me start with this. Uh, think, think, think this way. Imagine that your ray uh, could possibly attack twice in a row, and every time she got attacked by someone, she would counterattack that unit. And now imagine a royal guard right. that has a lot of a lot more protection than he has right now, uh-huh. and he also counterattacks and stuns possibly right. uh, every time someone attacks him. So he has taunt up. You have to attack Royal Guard, and every time you attack him, he has a chance to counterattack and stun you. Now imagine a Phasma that um, has her turn before anyone else on your team, and can start up with a speed down on everyone on the on the, on the opposing team. So that's those are some things that might happen in the near future when this this new content comes out. So. So, like explaining a little bit of that, this this picture and the and what they said about this this new content is very similar to a system that exists in another game, very similar to uh, Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes. It's a, it's an older game. It's been around for two years. I've played it for almost two years as well. And it's from what I read from the data mine info on Reddit, mm-hmm. it's. Almost completely like a copy paste of the same system. Okay. And and uh, I I was analyzing and reading all the info in there, and everything matches. Everything matches with uh, small changes. Okay. Because sure. It's a different game, of course. But yeah, the the changes are too small. So 
like everything the slots match the the bonuses match the leveling of the mods match the stat increase uh, the mods are going to give you also match so it's it's i'm pretty sure it's going to be the same system uh what's the game you're referring to Sorry, uh, the game is called Summoner's War. Okay, it's, a, it's an app store and a Android store, the Google Play. Right, and it's a it's a Korean game. It's very popular. Maybe not in the U.S., but I mean in Asia, Korea, Japan, China, it's very, very, very big. Now, the, and uh, go ahead, go ahead. So the the biggest one that I saw that that I thought was interesting was the fact that it's giving you. The potential to see like what the critical, you know, some different um, items that we don't get to see and what the additional, um, you know, like what is physical app, you know, accuracy. You see that at the bottom? Yeah, I, yeah, I was, I was uh, thinking about this because right now we don't have physical accuracy. I was checking all the possible stats. You know, you can open your characters and look at the, all the stats they have. There's no physical accuracy now, in the game right now. What I, now, what's interesting to this to, about this is, and the, and the reason why I think this is so interesting, has anyone else noticed that it seems like Ray dodge, like herself, there's like a built-in dodge. And so the built-in dodge that she has happens with characters that don't have very high dodge, but yet she'll, but yet you know, like the Fury of Blows will dodge, and you're like, you're, you're like that Fury of Blows should hit. I think it has to do with the fact that potentially she has a very low physical accuracy. Yeah, it could be that. It could be a hidden stat in the game right now, something that exists, but we don't have access to. Right. Uh, well, the, the way it is right now, we have, like, you can see on the screen, uh, they show a stat called Physical Critical Hit. Yes, but it's a percent, uh, percent based uh, number, and what we have in game right now is called physical critical rating, which is different, and it's a it's a high number, so it varies from two hundred up to five hundred and something. So, it, I think they're gonna change that. So instead of the rating, we're gonna get the percentage numbers for for those stats. Maybe dodge is gonna be the same, but. For now, the only thing we know is that physical critical chance is going to be showed as a percentage. So you actually know the, how much chance you have of landing a critical hit. Right. Which is amazing. And in here with us, too, just to introduce some of the other people in here, we got Ranger J and we got Darktron both in here. Uh, just, so we could kind of dis just so we could kind of discuss a little bit about, um, you know, about what it is we're talking about. I kind of moved down a little bit to this this next screen, which looks like it's going to be a new screen in the game, where you basically have one of these for every character, and there's six different types of of mods, which is what they're calling them, and they affect characters in different ways. So we'll just um, we'll just kind of read this second play, the second screen, which is what are mods? Mods are a new type of item that allows you to customize the stats of the character which they are equipped. A character can equip up to six different mods at once, and each one will add stats to that character. Mods come in six different shapes. Um, you can assign one of each shape to a given character. Mods affect the primary stat, for example, health, which may affect, sec which may affect additional secondary stats once the mod is leveled up. We are sharing this information about mods and our next major update in the coming days. In addition to mods, we will be adding more features as well as, as, well as fixing a large number of bugs. End of post. So this screen right here is very interesting to me as far as, uh, as, far as how, um, you know, how it goes on. Then we have the additional item which was posted to... Um, to, to Reddit, and so we'll we'll look at that for a sec. It was post. Yeah. It was posted you can, here. You can think of uh, you can think of those slots uh, in numbers like slot instead of like shapes. You can think of of them like slot one, two, three, four, five, and six. You know, right. You have six slots, and they are all they're all different. You know, when you get a mod, you're gonna get a specific shape of mod that only fits that slot. Right. So if it's yeah, I mean, the, it's, yeah. Let's say the arrow, it's gonna only fit in the arrow right. slot, which is like let's say the slot one. Yeah. 
you know, so we're here now and we're, and we're looking at that and you see all these different shapes, right? And then, and then that's whenever we got over here, we got to this data mined information, which is kind of, um, which is kind of where it, uh, where, where we're talking about kind of even more stuff about what's going on. So we'll, I'll go ahead and read this and then we'll get, you know, your opinion on it. Uh, cause I know you and I were chatting late last night about it. Okay. So a huge amount of, in, uh, of new info to go through. Here's a new system. There's a new system called mods. It appears to be a way for you to gear your character towards specific tats, stats and provide, uh, provide sets of bonuses. It is its own set of battles as well as its own shipments. Also, new features include Guild Exchange, a new raid boss, the, uh, the new and new raid boss Grievous. I'm up. Um, I will be updating as I find more info. And this is from um, sgoh.ggdev Sank Tankila. I guess is how you pronounce that. And so here's what they're saying. It's a, they're saying bonus uh, set, bonus stats and bonuses. Um, extra turn. No idea what yeah. that is. That's yeah. I'll tell you what that is. Okay. Yeah, I have. I have. I am one hundred and ten percent certain. Okay. Uh, well, let's explain first the set bonus. Okay. Um, so we're we're gonna be able to get different uh, shapes of mods. You know, that fit different slots. Right. But the mods themselves will come in different flavors, and by that I mean they will be part of a set. Okay. So as they show it here, you're gonna have a set. Uh, that gives you extra turns. You're gonna have a set for potency. The, the name actually says uh, accuracy. Maybe it's physical accuracy. Maybe right. it's potency. Yeah, okay. We we can't know that at this point, but it's gonna be one of those. Maybe both. Um, we have a set for uh, counterattacking called retribution. Uh, we have a, a set bonus that increases uh, critical chance. One for critical damage, defense, health. Uh, protection, offense, resistance, which is uh, probably tenacity, and then speed, okay? Maybe we get more in the future. Maybe they, they don't release all of those sets at, uh, in, a, in a one update. Maybe it's uh, it's they, they release like five or six sets and then the rest of them, and we might get even more sets in the future, okay? But the set bonus would be like this. You Let's say you got a mod and it's part of that set bonus that we show. We, we see that first uh, extra turn. Yes. By itself, by itself, that mod doesn't activate the bonus. Every set, every set bonus is activated when you have a specific number of mods of that set. So there, there are two possibilities. Yeah, because if uh, we go, so we go back to the screen. We go back to this next major preview, and you can see that yeah. the one that they've got, that the one that they've got that's stuck on Leia. There are seven dots. And then there are then there's a number. We're gonna open this up into a bigger screen so we can see it a little bit bigger. Yeah, I so look, there's a I number one, the and dots. then there's a dot, and it seems like that like so there's seven different stages to this, and so this yeah, is like the know, primary one for health up. Well, yeah, and, and there's a number one, so there's got to be a seven. It's got to be like you, like like you can combine these, or you can merge these, or you can get better versions of them, and then stick them on it certain on stick them on certain yeah. characters. Similar, my thought is similar. To the ISO crystals in Future Fight. Yeah, it could be. I tried uh, because w w once we go down through the the list of uh, the information on Reddit, you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to level up those mods from level one, which they come on level one, up to level fifteen. However, I went into Photoshop and tried replicating the the spheres to see how many fit before that screen came out. You know, that screen that shows the slots that fit uh, everyone fits a sphere but it, i think you can fit seven or eight only so it's not that it's not related to the level i think the level is on the bottom it shows level one and that's where it got, it's going to show the level of that mod okay um but uh the, the the that light that activates there i'm not sure what it is yet maybe it's the amount of uh, secondary stats you have on the mod or maybe it's, it's something else entirely so then we go back to the. So then let's go back over here to the data mine information. So, oh yeah. So we can. So so, yeah. we, so, so we, set bonus. Yeah. Bonuses. Yeah. You're gonna be able to uh, to equip these different sets, and some of the sets, let's say uh, the health set, it's the health set has a set bonus that activates when you equip uh, two mods from the the health um, bonus set. 
Okay. When you equip two, it activates the bonus, and the bonus is gonna give you health. Okay. So I don't, we don't know the numbers. I'll give you an example. Let's say the set bonus for health is twelve percent health increase. So it doesn't matter what stats are on the mods themselves. The mod can give you speed, can give you attack, can give you health as well. Right. But if you equip two mods of the the same type, which is the health mod in this case, you're gonna activate a fifteen percent health increase on your character, and that's the two set bonus, two P set bonus. The other type of set bonus we're gonna get is the four P set, okay? And those are gonna be, uh, for example, probably the extra turn, okay? You're, you're gonna need four mods from the extra turn bonus to activate the extra turn. And what that is, that set is going to give you a percent chance to gain an extra turn after you just use your turn. Let's say Le uh, Ray uses her special skill, number number two skill. Yes. Uh, and she's equipped with that bonus. Okay, She has four mods that give her a percent chance for an extra turn. So she attacks with the special skill. The bonus chance procs she gets an extra turn, and now she can attack with her third skill before anyone else does anything. Okay, so gotcha. that's an example. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what extra turn is going to be. Yeah, it's, it's going to it's going to be just like an extra turn. Same. Yeah, it's going to be just like yeah. an extra turn that anybody else has, right? So yes. Okay. That's insane. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It is pretty insane. Insane. Are you yeah. telling me? So let me just if I figured out. Sorry, guys. I, Granny just kind of threw me in here, and I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I think has lost their dang minds. I mean, okay, so I have Ray, and you're gonna tell me I can give her an extra turn to hit potentially, and and I and, oh, and I bet you once you equip and, these, and it is her chance if that's possible. There's no way she would wreck people. Well, that it, so so here's the here's the deal. I bet that once you put these on a character. If you wanted to remove them, you're gonna to have to pay to remove them. Yes, and the the thing is, uh, it's also on that information on Reddit. The higher the level of the, the the mod, the more expensive it is to remove it. You know. Y yes. So it's you have a level one mod, you're gonna pay a small amount. I think credits. Uh, uh, either they need to introduce a new currency for this, or they need to raise the payouts they give in the game because it's gonna be. Uh, like uh, super expensive to level up these mods and remove them and mess around with them because everyone is gonna in the beginning they're gonna now, test out different combinations you know well but do you think though have we considered this that for each tune for each character there may be only a certain type that you can get for that character the kinds of mm -hmm. goes along if they're attacker or if they're defense well it, I don't I, I think you can put it on anybody you I mean can put it on anybody it looks like it looks like you could put it on anybody. And so, so why would you not use counterattack on everybody? That well, because be because it because let's, that goes back to the same spot about how do you get those mod sets, and that and so I scrolled down a little bit. That first of all, that tells you, um, you know, appar apparently the like right here it says mod, it says stat mod set bonus set bonus stat speed percentage additive, and you're in order to get this grievous raid boss. So it's going. I, I, it's going I to be hard. Are, I don't think those are related. By the you don't all. think so? Okay. I think that's the string like related to the rate, but I mean, this what you talked about speed percent additive. It, it means that there's a set. It's going to be a four piece set. I'm pretty sure of that as well, because <laughs> it it would be too op to have a two set that gives you percentage speed. But let's say. You have a Phasma. Can anyone check the speed on Phasma for me? Because I, I really yeah, have my heart. Yeah, I, I can check the speed on Phasma. So Phasma's speed is uh, 121. Okay, she has 121 speed right now. Let's say let's say the bonus there is you need four mods, and you, when you activate the bonus, you get 25% speed. You're going to get 25% on top of 121. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to raise her speed a lot. But there's there's a catch. The mods, they also have primary stats, and those primary stats can be probably health, damage, speed, potency, tenacity, critical chance, critical damage. So you can, besides getting the percentage speed, you can also get speed on the mods themselves. So you can make a really fast character, like you can make a Phasma that goes before anyone else on fight, 
and she can do uh, speed down on everyone. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'd like to comment on something on this. Uh, yeah. It has to be uh, pretty amazing because now, uh, the only thing now, since it, if they are doing this and if this is going to be the, you know, the work of all uh, kind of different mods, that means the only thing they need to work in this game is fixing the character's abilities. Because that means it's going to be less for them to work on the character. Yeah, you could actually make a, can... yeah, you could make a Darth Maul amazing by sticking all these mods on him. Yep. Yes, and, yeah. And on top of that, it makes it easier for the developers to just work on, yeah. you know, his leader ability, get it fixed. Because these mods gonna fix their stats. So we're getting so, yeah. So we're getting some questions. In, we're getting some questions in chat too, which is um, exactly why they need to introduce new, new currency or energy for these. Even though energy to farm these is apparently uh, cantina energy. This is coming from Sean McLovin. Sean, we don't know if that's true or not. That could be just a placeholder. Whenever we um, and I could kind of show you. Whenever I went in and took those screenshots. Of, uh, of of what happened, you know, um, and what I got in here, you know, I did not get, um, you know, I did not get necessarily um, exactly, uh, exactly, I mean, they, they basically said that from the first node, you would get a fully crafted droid collar. Well, that's not, that's not necessarily true. I mean, I'll, I will, uh, let me throw up this image here that I, that I have of the, um, of the first one that I did, where I took these screenshots. Um, I mean, they might as well just call this Ga Star Wars Galaxy of Farming. Holy moly. Oh, holy. yeah. I, uh, man, I didn't get started yet, man. You, you have no idea what's what's to come. <laughs> Regarding the grind and the money. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, but, yeah, the, go ahead. Go newer, ahead. Player, newer players are going to lose their mind, man. They're going to have to fix currency. Because, I mean, it's a, it, it's a cost of fortune just to level one character right now. You know, if you think about it, getting a character to several, seven stars is a couple million. That alone, just to get it to seven stars. Then to level it, you're talking millions of more credits. This is just one character. Now on top of that, you're trying to get raid pieces, do raids, do all this other stuff. You have to farm. And now you want to throw in this feature? Holy God. Ay -ay. Well, here's my take on it right now. Uh, if they're going to bring out this and everything, they need to increase the uh, uh, credits in the Guild Wars. Galactic oh, Wars. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And, because... and, and another thing, if they're going to do this, increase the credit in the light side, dark side, and cantina. If they're going to do this, because it needs to be a balance to the game. And it needs to be a little bit effective for the free-to-player players and the pay-to-play players. Because we already sunk so much money into this game. And so far, they haven't fixed the characters that's in the game yet. They're giving us new content. That's lovely. But they still haven't fixed the characters that we paid money for. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll have to, you know, we'll have to see what, uh, you know, what happens. It's like, the, it's like they read the players' feedback on the forums like, you better not make level 90 anytime soon. They're like, well, we'll get around that by creating all these mods. Oh, anyway. yeah. <laughs> there, there's a big catch. There's a big catch. The catch is um, the mods have primary stats, okay? They might also contain secondary stats. Okay, oh, so, Jesus. so when you level when you level a mod, and this is slightly different, uh, in Star Wars, whenever you level a mod, you have a chance of getting it straight to the next level from one to two. But most of the time, you're gonna fail, but still, you're gonna like progress towards the next level. Okay, so. You're going to go either to the next level from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. And it's also like it, it increases the required money or whatever they're going to make mm -hmm. it to level up. 
or if it fails or if you don't get that bonus instant level up you're gonna progress a little bit okay but at levels three six nine and twelve you're gonna increase the secondary stats so let's say uh you got a mod and that mod has speed so you get 20 speed it's flat speed it's not a percentage based uh, number so you just get 20 speed every level up you're gonna increase the speed because the primary stat will always increase so from one to two to three all the way up to 15 every level you go up you're gonna increase that speed but at three six nine and twelve you're gonna increase the secondary now let's say secondary is percent health it's uh it starts at five percent or maybe that mod doesn't have a secondary yet you're gonna lock the first second uh, secondary stat at level three it's gonna show something up but it's rng based you don't know what you're gonna get so maybe you form a lot of mods and you finally get the mod that has speed but then the secondary stats are all garbage because they're not useful. They may be defense and you want health, you want damage if you're putting it on a DPS character. So the RNG is going to be insane. You're going to get so many mods and so many of them you're just going to sell if possible. Yep, or trade. They're not useful or trade because they're simply bad, you know. And so, no, the, gonna, and, so that's that. the, and so that's the next thing that we kind of we kind of need to talk about, right, which is um, which is whenever we get in here, we need to talk about some of this other these other items, right? So if we look on if we look on here and we look at these other items and what's what's available, we can just kind of read through this and see that you you create different mods, you create different sets, and you'll be able to fashion them together. You're able to complete multiples. <laughs> you'll be able to complete three. You will have bonuses which make you be able to gain gain power, which inc which includes mod sets to level fifteen. Um, each character has a unique, so experiment with various levels and best strategy. Good luck there. When I uh, Then it's when I successfully upgrade a mod is always the result of the primary stat. Then the next one is there's levels 3, 6, and 9 on the mod will gain or in some cases increase a pre-existing secondary stat. Upgrading a mod to its next level takes longer as it reaches the higher level, but if each... With each upgrade, I get closer to upgrading the mod to the next level. Each upgrade I attempt, I perform, has a chance to instantly succeed, which is interesting. When this happens, the mods will immediately gain its next level. Otherwise, its upgrade progress will be presented so you will know how close you are to upgrading to the next level. Upgrading mods will be very important uh, to competition, so visit often. Then there'll be restricted battles. This is where we have the health mods. Then you have restricted battle set number one. The battle is a slicer special challenge against both clones and Geonosian soldiers to each to earn high value health stat mods. Restricted battle two set it will allow first order only. In that set, it's an offense so the first one is is health, the second set is offense mods, and it's first order only characters. The third set is Jedi only, and that's a defense. Um, so then, the, and then that's that that's in the third set. The third set, the battle is a slicer special challenge against Jedi and separatist droids. Notice they've now separated it into they've separated droids into light side dark side, which is interesting, to earn a higher value defense set. the The fourth set description is resistance only allowed. That's a speed mod. Uh, the battle in the slicer special against both resistance and first order characters to earn a high value speed set mod. Then the fifth one is Scoundrels Only Allowed. And in the fifth one, you'll get Critical Hit. The battle in the Slicer Special Challenge against Scoundrels, Pirate, that's a first one, Pirate, Empire, First Order Characters to earn High Value Critical Chance. And that's for Scoundrels Only. The sixth is Jawa Only. 
allowed, critical damage mods, battles in the Slicer Special Challenge against Jawa, Sand Trooper, and Tuscan characters to earn high-value damage mod sets. The seventh, which is Empire only, and this is potency mods. The battle in the Slicers in the Slicer Special Challenge against Empire Rebel characters to earn high-value potency mod sets. The eighth, which is which is only Rebels allowed. This is tenacity mods in the Slicer Special. Uh, the challenge mod for both Empire and Rebel characters to high uh, to earn high value tenacity mods, and then Guild Exchange. This is the Guild Exchange console. So there's going to be a way for we, for us to exchange some items. We don't know what, right? Um, uh, in this. In this area, you will be able to seek assistance from your fellow guild members by requesting, which means, I guess, that having um, that having uh, a nice guild where you can change stuff around uh, will be important. But that is true. No night sisters. I'm a huge night sister guy, and no Ewoks. Both of those are interesting. That we haven't seen either one of those. Why uh, are they? Making it that you can only have specific teams. That is, yeah, so I don't difficult. get it. I don't get it. It's that's a bad design. Bad design. Well, well design. I, mean, I don't well, think that's final yet because uh, one of the sets, like, there's a list there with the uh, restrictions and the mods, but like the extra turn mod is not on that list. So maybe that mod doesn't come out from from the update, the first update. Maybe it comes at a later phase. Yeah. So the, the counter attack set is not on the list as, uh, as well. So yeah, we might see Ewoks, we might see Night Sisters, but the whole idea of uh, locking it to a specific class of characters is just bad design. It's gonna force everyone into getting all the possible characters before they even try to get the mods. I mean, it's, it's gonna stop people from being able to do anything because the game has been pushing people. And we, I've talked with Grandi about this before in other streams and stuff. It's forcing people, you know, with the events that they have, let's say, you know, getting Yoda, you have to get Jedi, right? If you want to complete, like, the new event that's out now, you have to high, have high-level Empire characters, the Scoundrel event. Not everybody can do that. It forces you into certain positions. And then it's if you want to focus on those things. It's not a lot of people going to, you know, make a... Uh, Scoundrel. Uh, it should be better oh. now. We're back now. Uh, don't, a don't ask me what happened, but we're back now. I say <laughs> user error. User error, more than likely. Yes, I would agree. I would be okay if it was like, uh, requires you to have at least one scoundrel. Okay, one scoundrel. You can farm one of those, you know. You don't need to pay to get it. But if you need five scoundrels, for, like, you didn't need five scoundrels now you need five now you need five of first order now you need five of everything then it becomes a problem and that farm in the first order guys are is a tough farm i mean holy moly it's not like those characters are easy to farm and get you know i mean my goodness I, they really have lost their mind if they, if, i mean i know this is early but if they launch this they, they've lost their mind a first order team are you kidding me I mean, it could be tough. Oh, I mean, it could be tough. Officer, you can only get him in one place. You know, Kylo Ren, uh, the stormtrooper. I mean, first order is high pilot. My goodness, that. I mean, you might as well wait till next year. I mean, and and uh, stormtrooper, he's yes, pretty pain to the farm too. Uh, yeah, I, I just hoping it doesn't come down to this because if it does, it's just gonna focus. The, a lot of people just quit the game. Oh. So it's it basically more time and more investment into the game. And so far, they still haven't fixed a lot of things in the game. And it just bringing out this well, update is just going to be more a problem. Hold on. I mean, let's not get too negative about it. I mean, we haven't even seen it yet. We don't even know if it's going to... You know, we don't even know what it's um. You know what it's all going to be about. It could be. It could be amazing. It could fix all kinds of things that we didn't. Uh, you know that we didn't that we didn't know about from before. So, you know that's. No, I think I think I think the content itself is amazing. I mean, having these 
mods, the sets, and the mods with different attributes is gonna uh, open up a lot of possibilities. You know, characters yep. that weren't weren't being used before are gonna be used because now they have uh, new synergies with the, these new uh, mods. But I think that the, what they're, what they're talking about here is the way this is being delivered to the players. I don't think that approach is uh, the correct one, you know, by blocking it to a set of characters. Yes. And on top of that, even if we get this content and everything, yes, it's going to be good for the characters, but right. the, down, the downside is if that characters has a bug on his ability and they haven't fixed it yet, basically it's still a broken character. For example, Dark Maul, Leader's ability, not working right now. We stick these mods in, okay, he's partly okay now, but his Leader ability is not working. So it's basically a broken character, basically. And they need to fix all the other characters that need to be fixed before uh, these mods coming in. I'm okay with the, the the new mods and everything. Just make sure when you bring out the new mods, fix the other characters too. Because if you're going to be using these characters for these mods, then make it work. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. And there's one more thing I forgot to mention about the set bonuses. Um, so they're... they're set bonuses that require for mods and the, the, there's a set there are set bonuses that require two mods uh you can equip the the two set bonus three times if you want like you want only health as a bonus you can equip six health mods the bonuses will activate three times uh, because they stack so you can get the same set bonus three times like right. the bonus for uh, counter attacking let's say it's a 15 percent chance to counter when you're attacked but it's a two-piece bonus, so if you equip six, you're gonna have a forty-five percent chance to counterattack. Yeah, so the, uh, there's there's a there's a lot of interesting combinations there. Yeah. Now but I can tell you something right away. The best set for globally for any character is gonna be the extra turn, combined um, with a, a smaller set. But the extra turn is just way too good. Way yeah. Too good. And here's another thing that I think a lot of people is going to do. The extra turns is really good. And if they have a mod for more, more potency, that's going to be really oh, yeah. good for yeah, I mean, rating. But, but it's going to be it's going to be two things, right? I mean, you're basically going to go back to focusing on your raid team and you're going to go back to focusing on your main PvP team, right? Because those are the two teams yeah. that you're going to use the most. So it's going to be your, your main you know, five or five to 15 characters that you use all the time that you're going to focus on first. Un right. Unless, yeah. unless there's, unless there's some reason why you would want to focus on, on, uh, on somebody else. Yeah. For example, like a Tebow that people will use a lot on phase one right now, you would like a Tebow to have, uh, the potency set, potency set, which is like two pieces. So two pieces are increasing your potency on Tebow. The other four is the extra turn. So let's say he procs an extra turn and on his first attack, uh, the boss resisted uh, his first skill. Now you procced, you have a second chance and, and you can attack again. Uh, let's say like a set Phasma, like uh, for example, Royal Guard, maybe you put counter on him. So everyone is, ta uh, Royal Guard has taunted up. You need to attack Royal Guard. You cannot attack anyone else. And he has a chance to counter. Maybe you want to put an acid on Royal Guard so he doesn't get his taunt removed. Maybe you want to put uh, the speed set bonus on on Stormtrooper Han so or, he taunts before anyone else moves. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean it's kind of slow right now. You, you know, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I think we kind of go back to the same characters that we think are, you know, the main meta oh. characters already. I yeah, mean, that I'm, would. I'm mentioning those characters because those are the ones that I have access to right now, and it's like those I know about, you know. But I'm pretty sure there are a lot of characters that people don't use uh, that can find some uh, some some utility and even become uh, the next best thing, you know. I think that with the these mods, I think that this is just gonna yeah. get a big buff for uh, the the droids, big time. We don't see a we don't uh, we don't see a mod a, a dodge buff either. I mean, there was no evasion buff that was interestingly yeah. missing. 
Uh, Which one is the droid that gives like attacks everyone? Is that I eighty eight? So I IG eighty eight has an has an AOE has yeah, yeah. he has a health steal right? Yeah, so you can you can equip him with mods that increase critical chance and critical damage since he does AOE, you know. So it buff, yeah. beefs out his damage. Like for example, Genosian soldier. You you need to think about those that uh, those characters that have basic abilities that do some kind of crazy uh, crazy thing like. For example, Genosian Soldier, uh, every time he crits, he gets 50% turn meter, right? So let's say his critical chance right now in the game, we don't see, but let's assume it's 20% chance. Uh, you equip him with a set of critical chance um, uh, mods. You can also have critical chance on the stats of those those mods as well. So you can potentially have a Genosian Soldier that has let's say 75% chance to crit, or even 100, because if you have 75 and you put a Leia by his side, Leia buffs him, and he has 100% chance to crit. So he crits all the time, and he gets the 50% turn meter all the time. So yeah, it's going to be nice. But some yeah, I, crazy things are going to happen. I I rather, for me, if I'm going to put that stat, I'd rather put critical, critical hit and critical damage, because the critical damage is going to multiply it to do more damage on a crit hit so yeah that's but gonna be yeah, insane. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of crazy things happening here. you're gonna see ray if they don't uh, change the numbers like the stats in the game right now if they don't balance this right you're gonna see ray doing twenty five thousand damage on a hit because that's, that's the way it's gonna be you know if if those mods give you like uh let's say 50% chance to, uh, to to crit or 50% extra critical damage or the offense mods give you 50% more offense or even more than that yeah it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be crazy now here here's the here's the thing i want to know do they have a mod that increases your protection yes the, it's on the list yes yeah. it is on the list Oh man, this is gonna be pretty nasty. Yeah. You can have the Royal Guard instead of the counter, you can just throw at him all the mods that give uh, a lot of protection or health. Let's say Lumi. Lumi, because the healing mod is kind of, uh, it's weird. In that game I was talking about, the healing uh, mod or rune in that game is the one that people start out with, you know, because it's the easiest, easiest to get. The, uh, the others are kind of harder. So, but I, I can see healers like Lumi using the healing mod because, the not the healing mod, the health mod, because Lumi Lumi's heal is based on her max HP. So let's say you put a lot of health mods on her. Her health increases by a lot. So every time she heals, she's healing for, I don't know, 15,000 health, you know? I, I thought that... I thought that's uh, Odaka is based on the, on how much uh, health she has. That's fair, but because I know Odaka has um, it affected how much HP she has to give more heals for people. Mm. Yeah, so so in that case, the the that mod would be a lot a lot more useful for them because it increases the healing amount. Because right I'm... now, right now healers are not useful because the damage output pe that people can get in the game far outweighs the the healing amount that you can do. That's why we're not using healers. Yeah, yeah, we can well, see healers being useful. Well, here, here's the thing: if they are helping the healers be in this game, they gotta increase. Like the mod is gonna have to increase their healing uh, ability, or uh, have a healing ability effect giving uh, uh, healing uh, protection too. Well, we're talking about all this, yeah. but the real question is, is are Wells going to have an advantage when this launches? Because if they can spend money uh, and get all these mods right away, that's going to give them a huge advantage. Do you think there's going to be any kind of limitation per day on how many of these you can farm no matter what? Yeah, that's the thing about what I said in, regarding RNG. Let's say, let's say you can get, I don't know, a hundred mods a day. Okay, I don't know how hard it's gonna be to, to get them to drop or how much it's gonna cost to run the 
the node that has them available. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say you can get 100, okay? You're a paying player, you can get 100 a day. Out of those 100 mods, in the beginning, you're gonna use everything, okay? It's new, you're gonna use everything, you're gonna try to level everything. But eventually, uh, you're gonna replace most of those mods, you know, because they're not what you expected them to be. You, you want speed, you want uh, health, you want damage, you want offense, you want tenacity. It, it, it depends on the character, of course. So you're going to keep farming those mods. Let's say you get 100 a day. Out of those 100 mods, you think two, two to five of them have potential, okay? At, le at level one, they came with the right primary stat that you want, and maybe they came with a secondary stat already. That's something that you like. And though, then you start leveling those, okay? It's level one, two, three. At level three, it, it's gonna increase the secondary stat if it's, if it's there already. If there wasn't a secondary stat, you're gonna gain a secondary stat. At that time, maybe the secondary stat that you got is not what you wanted. So you're gonna stop leveling that rune right away and it's garbage. Maybe you got what you wanted. And then at level six, you're gonna get maybe another secondary stat or it's in, it's going to increase the same secondary stat as before. So that's okay. But at the end of the day, I mean, out of those 100 runes, runes, maybe one is good and maybe none of them is good for you. And at the same time, the guy that doesn't doesn't spend a lot of money, he got he got 20 runes. But out of those 20, two of them are really good because everything is going to be RNG based. Of course, you have much more chances if you're spending money, but it's going to be a crazy RNG all over it. Now, is this going to be like a, uh, now, if this new area, is it going to be separate energy from the, the two energies we have now, the cantina and the regular energy? So, is the potential of these new energy things, if there is one? Okay, I got, a, I got, a real, I, I got another question. Are you ready? Fire. Yep. I, I just bought a freaking Nubian scanner. In the shipments, did you? Are you guys watching it? Yeah. I, I now I got to figure out who the heck it goes on. Whoa. You th what are the options? Okay, so here you guys, you guys will be able to see my screen. My options are Tebow to Max, Royal Guard, Lumi, not a chance in heck. Uh, Yoda, Stormtrooper Han, but I still need to put. Uh, Stun gun on him too. Or what are my other choices? Or I could just hold it. It either needs to go, in my opinion, on Tebow or Royal Guard. Tebow. Tebow. Yeah. Tebow. Is, is the Nubian scanner the one that gives potency? If so, Tebow, for sure. Yep. Yep. It gives. It gives. It gives. So that's it. Now I have a maxed out Tebow. We're nice. Now you can do phase one. Congrats. Totally, totally done. <laughs> well, I don't know if everybody sees this, but uh, I'm waiting on this guy right here. <laughs> this guy, Ewok Elder, six out of seven oh. stars. I'm like, come on. He's already gear level 10. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's if people think getting a t three Ewoks to raid or two Ewoks raid is a grind, man. It is serious. Man. It is a serious you're grind. Crazy. Yeah, you're going to see the serious grind when the mods come out. I mean, it's going to be insane. Uh, and talking about the energy, the, the screen that we saw, because there was a, like a glitch in the game, you could access the mod table. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Re Remon, yeah, di Remon did it. Cantina energy. But I don't think, I don't think it's... I mean, Cantina is too, is too expensive to refresh. And you also go there for characters. I don't think that would be a wise <laughs> choice. You know, for me, if it was... If it was up to me, I would say normal energy, because eventually you get a lot of gear from raids, and you get gear through the challenges, and it, you you start needing less gear over time. So yeah, normal energy would work for me, but I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna add a new currency or something like that. I I prefer not uh, our energy what we farming for light side and dark side, because now. We had to choose. Oh, do we want to go for you know this or go for that? Uh, if they put it separate energy, it just makes it a lot easier for people. You know, they can still concentrate farming the gear, and they can still concentrate farming for the mods. So yeah, I, I agree. Hope, I hope it's the energy separate for these, or uh, is it gonna have something? Oh, you can do five runs of this. 
a day or something like that. Like what they do in the challenges, you know, each day at different challenges on these mods, specific mods. So it's a lot of ways they can do this. So who knows? We have to wait when it comes out. Do you have an yeah. ETA when they're going to launch this sucker? No idea. I hope it's not yeah. for a while. What I, well, like an, a piece of advice I can give right now, if if the extra turn set comes out on launch, like when they release this new content, you have access to extra turn, 